Welcome to the narrow boat that James built. Hope you're all very well. As you can see, I'm vacuuming the bilge area here, which can only mean one thing. I am ready to lay down the floorboards, which I haven't actually laid down yet to see if they even fit for size. So I'm a little bit nervous. I am hope I'm not doing all this preparation in vain that I've now got to trim the boards down. Anyway, I've been to the shops and I've bought some insulation, so I'll show you that in a second. And I am now just finishing off the last bits, ready to get this floor down. Fingers crossed. Right, so now the place has been cleaned, well, hoovered up a little bit. Um, it's time, just before I lay the floor, which I've moved one of the boards over here, um, I've got two things to lay down. So, this stuff here is a foil insulator. It's, it's got kind of, it's like um, bubble wrap with foil on both sides. So it's a vapor barrier. You can use it in loads of applications around the home and stuff, um, but it says it's okay, or it says it's suitable for subfloors. It works as obviously insulation, but also as a vapor barrier. So, and it says what I should do is lay it on top of the joist, obviously pull it tight in one meter strip. So basically one lot down there, another lot down here, and put the boards on top of it and screw straight through. So that's gonna be my plan. So we'll see how that goes down. But before I do that, I've got this stuff here, which is 25 mil Kingsman. And that just sits in there, in those gaps there. So we'll do that one first. It doesn't have to be a perfect fit, but I'd like it to be pretty tight. There we go. That's got that one in. Right, let's see how these go down. Doesn't matter if it sticks up at the end. Actually, if these are two meters wide, if these are a meter wide, maybe I'll be better doing it that way because these are a meter. That made more sense. And then it won't cross over in the middle. So I need. Actually, if I have it lipping over the sides, then that will help protect the side of the floor from the side of the hull. So I want these at about two meters because the floor's 1900. That's one. It's these bits, it's measuring like this, which is a bit imprecise to be honest, but I've got a bit of tolerance there. Two meters, might go a little bit more, 205. There we go. Oh, that does it quite easily. That makes it easy. Oh yeah, that cuts. Piece of cake. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Oh, fine. Oh, I'm looking forward to on the floor. Okay, so if I lay that that way, then somehow see if I can get the board on it without squidging it. Now, before I do that, what I want to do is just put a little mark in the center of where these battens are. On the furthermost point of this one, because I'll be able to see that. Um, I'll be able to see that from where even when the board's on. because so I've got about 20 mil to spare. So that's the center line where, so I know where I'm okay to screw into. Oh, blind! Right, okay. So now I can push that up flush. And then, quick, that over there, and push that flush. Right. Now the one thing I haven't done yet, 
is see if these boards fit. So I'm not too sure even though how I go about putting them in. Uh, I don't want to go and pierce all the stuff I've just done either. Oh, how does this work? Oh, oh no. I'm stuck now. Well, I think it looks like it's going to fit with boys. What it does, that's good. Oh, it feels nice. Right, now let's slide it back. I need to pull that foil through now somehow. check out what this rustling's like once I've got the floor down because it should absolutely stop once it's been pulled tight and if it doesn't I'll be the first to take it out wow hey oh, I've broken my rule I'm not wearing slippers oh my god I've got a floor and it's stable. Right, I'm going to screw this down and see if that squidgy noise goes. If it does, great. If it doesn't, I might have to kiss goodbye to that foil. But I've got to say, I do like the way it protects the edges against the hull there. Right, let's see how we're looking against this one. Bang on. That's good. I guess I shouldn't say I'm so surprised, but it's always nice to see when the square lines up. Yeah. Yeah. Blimey, that is bang on. I'm thinking that rustling is more to do with a bit on the side, if I'm honest. Right, so now I've got to transpose those lines over to here, just in pencil, so I know where the battens are. Which means I know where to screw into. And obviously this side's pretty easy because I can see the battens. This will also help me mark out when I'm coming to make the lockers. Why can't I draw that line? Okay. So I'm using, I'm going through 25 mil batten and 18 mil timber uh, floor. So I don't want to screw any further than 48 mil really. Um, so I'm using, I'm going a bit conservative, I'm using 38, but you'll see that will go through into about half of the batten, which is about what I want. I also know where the screw holes are here, so there's the next one, the next screw holes on the, on the battens are at 70s here, so I've got plenty of clearance in order to screw this down. So I'm going to start, I'm not going to go right at the front. self-tapping screws. If I'm honest, I was curious as to whether I was going to need to, to countersink them, but it looks like it's going to be okay. 
And to make it just slightly easier, I'm just piloting the first, literally the first couple of mil. And with every screw I put in, it feels a little bit more stable and stabler. So it's a uh, it's a nice feeling at the moment. center line fifty. It's why it's really good and important when you're putting the screws in to begin with that you do it in a systematic and kind of uniform way because otherwise if they're kind of out pocket anywhere it's harder when you've got to do things like this. It's much better to know where they are. Now I shouldn't have to move those screws to stand up, worry that they're going to fall off because we should be good to go. Oh wow. Oh my word. There's no sound from the rattling of this stuff. That's all gone. It feels really really sturdy it feels really sturdy oddly i know that is totally psychosomatic it feels warmer but yeah that is fantastic well happy with that seven more to go so that's my light covered so here i am sitting on my chair on my new floor um it's great i'm really happy with how that all went down um I'm sure Simon, uh, who commented, you'll be happy to see that uh, I've got two layers of insulation underneath the subfloor. So hopefully that shall suffice. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, it, it went down really well. Um, I was bloody relieved that the uh, that, that that it hit the sizes correctly uh, on the width. So that's good. It sits nice and square. Um, and Chris mentioned about uh, on one of the comments on the last video uh, just about not letting the edges of the boards touch the sides of the hull um, for condensation reasons. Um, so I'm yeah happy that that the, it, it it does it. It's uh, the foil wrap kind of comes up, and obviously the walls are going to cover that. So or I might trim it if I need to, or whatever. But that yeah, that's really good. Um, and um, I'm not sure if this is exactly the foil wrap that um, John mentioned, um, which covers the, the on the last video as well, which covers the, the rads um, and boilers and things. But this is good. It's kind of foil bubble wrap, which is, I think, the one you mentioned. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's definitely much better laying it this way on um, the way of the, the way that the boards face much better that way. Actually, on the next board, what I'm going to uh, what I'm going to trial is to glue the foil down on the back of the board first and then lay the board down. Um, I'm hoping that will be easier. Um, I'm hoping it might make it work slightly better. Um, so I'll give that a go. And if that pans out, then I'll uh, continue that throughout the boat. But I've got seven more to do. I'll take myself off for a bite to eat now and then come back and tackle some more. Hope you're all well. Thank you very much for watching. Please watch next time. Take care, bye.